วัสดีครับยินดีต้อนรับทุกท่านนะครับสู่งานสัมมนาทางวิชาการนะครับต้องประทานโทษนะครับนี่คือ in-house นะครับคือท่านผู้ชมทุกท่านที่นั่งอยู่ในห้องนี้เนี่ยทุกคนเป็นคนที่มีโอกาสได้ register แล้วใช่ไหมครับกับ city ใช่ไหมครับใช่ไหมครับโอเคครับวันนี้เรามีเกียรติได้ต้อนรับทั้งกลุ่มแพทย์แล้วก็บุคลากรทางด้านการแพทย์นะครับ medical แล้วก็ medical professional ทุกท่านในวันนี้นะครับก็ต้องบอกว่าวันนี้เหตุเกิดขึ้นได้เนี่ยถ้าผมเท้าความไม่ฟังนิดหนึ่งเดือนเมษาเรามีงานแบบนี้เกิดขึ้นครับเพียงแต่ไม่ใช่ที่เมืองไทยที่สิงคโปร์มีแพทย์กับบุคลากรทางการแพทย์เจ็ดสิบท่านเพียงพอไหมครับที่จะทำให้รู้สึกว่ามันต้องมีอะไรเกี่ยวกับยูซิตี้ละนั่นคือที่มาครับในเมื่อเจ็ดสิบคนที่สิงคโปร์ที่มาร่วมได้แล้ววันนี้ทำไมไอ้แค่เจ็ดร้อยจะเป็นไปไม่ได้นะครับเราวันนี้ผมบอกแล้วว่าเราได้รับเกียรติอย่างสูงมากนะครับที่ที่ที่จะเกิดขึ้นเหตุการณ์แบบนี้ทุกท่านเป็นอยู่ในเหตุการณ์ประวัติศาสตร์นับหนึ่งนะครับของการเกิดประชุมวิชาการทางการแพทย์นี่จะว่าไปคือการเปิดตัวของยูนิเตอร์สู่วงการแพทย์เป็นครั้งแรกนะครับแล้วเราก็โชคดีมากว่าในงานบรรยายครั้งนี้เนี่ยเราได้รับเกียรติจากดรแดนกูบเลอร์นะครับตัวตัวท่านเองเนี่ยเป็นดีเรกเตอร์ของ Research and Development University International นะครับแปลเป็นไทยผู้ในการฝ่ายวิจัยและพัฒนา University International ผมคิดว่าเนื่องจากทุกท่านหลายคนในห้องนี้เนี่ยเป็นคนนักธุรกิจด้วยนะครับผมก็จะอ่านให้ฟังเลยเพราะผมคิดว่า wording หรือคำพูดทุกคำเนี่ยมันสำคัญมากที่ต้องทราบนะครับดรแดนโกเบิร์นเนี่ยครับเป็นผู้ในการฝ่ายวิจัยและพัฒนาแห่ง University International นะครับท่านเป็นหนึ่งในจานวนนักชีวเคมีระดับโลกชั้นนำของโลกนะครับหรือเรียกอีกอย่างว่านักเคมีผลิตพันธุ์ธรรมชาติครับตัวท่านเองเนี่ยจบปริญญาจากมหาวิทยาลัยบริกแฮมยังนะครับแล้วก็ในเมืองโพรเวลที่ยูทาห์ประเทศอเมริกานะครับเป็นสถาบันระดับบัณฑิตศึกษาด้านวิชาเคมีและชีวเคมีที่มีชื่อเสียงระดับโลกนะครับตัวท่านเองเนี่ยตั้งแต่ตอนเรียนและท่านมีผลการเรียนที่โดดเด่นมากนะครับในระหว่างที่อยู่ที่มหาวิทยาลัยเคยได้รับ outstanding research research award นะครับรางวัลน,นักวิจัยระดับปริญญาตรีดีเด่นนะครับได้รับความไว้วางใจให้เป็นผู้ช่วยสอนนักศึกษาในระดับปริญญาตรีและได้รับทุนการศึกษาอันมีเกียรติอีกถึง2ทุนการศึกษาด้วยกันจากนั้นท่านไปศึกษาต่อที่มหาวิทยาลัยรัฐโคโลราโดนะครับจนกระทั่งได้รับปริญญาเอกในสาขาวิชาเคมีอินทรีย์ภายใต้การดูแลของดรโรเบิร์ตวิลเลียมส์ผู้ซึ่งเป็นที่รู้จักและก็นับถือในหมู่เพื่อนร่วมอาชีพนะครับในฐานะนักเคมีผลิตพันธุ์ธรรมชาติระดับแนวหน้าของโลกงานวิจัยของดรแดนนะครับพาท่านเข้าไปสู่ Caltech Caltech นี่เป็นสถาบันเทคโนโลยีแคลิฟอร์เนียนะครับที่ซึ่งตัวท่านเองได้พัฒนาสารประกอบขึ้นภายใต้แขนงวิชาพันธุศาสตร์และการแสดงออกของยีนนะครับจีนเอ็กซ์เพรสชันนะครับโดยการทำงานร่วมกับดรพีเตอร์แดนเวนนะครับระหว่างที่รับตำแหน่งอาจารย์มหาวิทยาลัยอยู่ที่ฮาวายนั้นดรแดนนะครับซึ่งเป็นนักวิทยาศาสตร์รุ่นที่3ของครอบครัวนะครับทุกท่านคงทราบแล้วว่าดรแดนภูมิใจมากแค่ไหนนะครับที่ตระกูลท่านเนี่ยหลงไหลได้ปลื้มกับการเป็นนักวิทยาศาสตร์นะค,ความสวยความสวยงามของท่านที่ท่านมองเห็นคือโครงสร้างโมเลกุลเป็นที่เราทราบอยู่แล้วใช่ไหมครับท่านเดินเจริญรอยตามคุณปู่และคุณพ่อของท่านซึ่งจริงๆคุณปู่คุณพ่อเนี่ยก็ได้คนพบสารประกอบทางเคมีหลายชนิดนะครับถ้าผมจำไม่ผิดที่ท่านเคยกล่าวไว้เนี่ยคุณปู่ท่านเป็นคนคนพบบทบาทของทองแดงในมนุษย์บทบาทที่มีต่อร่างกายมนุษย์นะครับคนธรรมดาฟังไปมันมีอะไรน่าสนใจไหมครับแต่สำหรับนักวิทยาศาสตร์การที่คนคนหนึ่งค้นพบความสามารถการทำงานของทองแดงแล้วก็มีผลต่อมนุษย์เนี่ยมันเป็นเรื่องยิ่งใหญ่มากนะครับตลอดชีวิตการทำงานอันโดดเด่นของท่านเนี่ยท่านได้รับงานทุนวิจัยหลายครั้งมากนะครับจากทั้งบริษัททางด้านเภสัชกรรมชื่อดังบริษัทต่างๆมหาวิทยาลัยต่างๆรวมถึงสมาคมโรคมะเร็งแห่งประเทศสหรัฐอเมริกาด้วยนะครับ
ได้รับการตีพิมพ์หลายต่อหลายครั้งรวมถึงพิมพ์รายการตีพิมพ์ใน Scholar Press ซึ่งเป็นสำนักพิมพ์ด้านวิชาการแห่งใหญ่ที่สุดแห่งหนึ่งของโลกนะครับวันนี้ล้างหูมาแล้วใช่ไหมครับจากนี้ไปเนี่ยนะครับขอให้ท่านตั้งใจฟังเพราะสิ่งที่ท่านจะมาพูดเนี่ยท่านจะมาพูดถึงผลิตภัณฑ์ของซิตี้ที่อยู่กับการตีพิมพ์ใน PDR ป่านี้แล้วยังใครไม่รู้จัก PDR อีกไหมครับเล่มสีฟ้าที่ถือกลับไปกันนั่นนะครับนะครับสำคัญมากกว่านั้นคือท่านจะมีเวลาได้พูดถึงผลิตภัณฑ์ที่จะทำการตีพิมพ์ใน PDR ในเล่มฉบับต่อไปด้วยถ้ามีเวลานะครับหลังจากนั้นเนี่ยท่านจะเราจะเปิดโอกาสใหะ้จะมีเคสตัวอย่างให้ดูก็เป็นบุคลากรทางการแพทย์พวกเราอย่างนี้แหละครับโอเคไหมครับพร้อมไหมครับถ้าอย่างนั้นผมขอสองเสียงตบมือต้อนรับดรแดนโกเบลครับผมUnicity and the medical professional are like a glove to a hand. They are a perfect fit. Here at Unicity, we provide powerful tools for medical professionals. So I hope that that will be the major takeaway that you get from this presentation. Unicity helps to change the world. Our products help to change the world, and partnering with doctors who also change the world is a powerful combination. Um, I'd like to thank Dr. Tan for that uh, great introduction. Um, he's very kind. He does a wonderful job. Um, as Dr. Tan said, I love chemistry. From the moment I was small, from the earliest time I can remember, I wanted to be a chemist. I wanted to be a chemist. You know, a lot of people go through. High school and college, and even after that, trying to figure out what they want to do. I knew what I wanted to do from the very beginning. One of the reasons, as Dr. Tom mentioned, my grandfather was a famous chemist. I grew up in his lab. I grew up doing science experiments, and I grew up loving chemistry, wanting to make a difference, wanting to change the world using science. So, a little bit about my background. I went to uh, undergraduate here at uh, Brigham Young University. This is in Utah, right here. So, this is Brigham Young University. Our corporate office in Utah is right about there. That's our corporate office. Okay. So, I went to school there. I majored in biochemistry. While I was there, I was able to work in a lab for two years. And what we did, we did some great re research. We designed a prodrug. This is a compound that, when you shone light on it, it changed shape. It changed from an inactive drug to an active cancer drug. And we actually did took this into clinical trials for skin cancer. For instance, if you had melanoma on your skin, you could take this drug. The drug would go everywhere, and then you would shine a light. On your skin, and only where you shone the light would the compound change from the inactive compound to the active drug. And so we published a few papers on this. This was one of those. It went through clinical trials. It failed, but it was a good experience. After that, I did my PhD. I moved to Colorado with the snow. You see that snow there? Hmm. Moved to Colorado State University. And I was fortunate to do my PhD with this man here, Bob Williams. He is one of the most famous natural products chemists in the world. And he he used to be at Harvard, but he didn't like living in Boston. He liked the mountains, and so he moved to Colorado. 
and I worked with him for six and a half years. I did my PhD there. While there, he gave me the assignment to synthesize these compounds here. Now, aren't those beautiful compounds, doctors? Don't you like those structures? Ooh, you see that there? This is a 6553 structure, ring structure. Beautiful, beautiful structure. These compounds are amazing. They are DNA cross-linking agents. What they do is they cross-link DNA. They prevent, D, uh, they prevent DNA polymerase from going down the DNA and transcribing proteins. And so this kills a cell. So these are great anti-cancer compounds. These are found from bacteria, but you can only get one or two milligrams of these compounds. And so what I did is I designed a synthetic route, 26 steps to make several of these compounds here. Um, so I did synthetic chemistry, published several papers, had a great time. Um, we published, so I spent six and a half years and, and whatnot. Um, I was the first one to publish a synthesis of these compounds. And we wrote a big review article that was about uh, 100 pages long here in Chemical Reviews, which is a journal that has one of the best impact factors around. Um, and then uh, I was asked to write a book, a 600-page book on these compounds. And so Scholars Press, which is one of the biggest publishing companies in the world, asked me to write a 600-page book on these compounds of mitomycins. Um, so, so that was a lot of fun. After my graduate work, I was fortunate enough to get accepted into Caltech to do postdoctoral research. I was funded by the American Cancer Society. They gave me a grant for three years to do research at Caltech. I did my research, as Dr. Tan mentioned, with Professor Peter Durvin, who is a pioneer in gene expression. He's a pioneer in what we call bioorganic chemistry. Um, so I spent some time with him. That's me right there. I'm very young. Um, spent some time with him. And what we did is we designed a molecule that could recognize any six base pair sequence of DNA with affinity higher than transcription factors. Okay, so a transcription factor binding to DNA, if you put this compound in, it kicks off the transcription factor. That's how good of a binder these are. And we use these compounds to turn on and off genes. And we did some fun stuff with molecular wiring and whatnot. Um, published a few papers there. Then I had kind of an, an opportunity to come out of the blue. I was offered a job as a professor at a very small school in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, in Hawaii, on the North Shore. I was offered a job. I wanted to be at a big research school, but I just had this feeling. They offered me the job, and I had this feeling that I should accept, even though it wasn't really in my career path. So I accepted a job as a professor at BYU-Hawaii. This is a school here. That's not a bad view, right? Um, so, so I was there as a professor. I got tenure. I was there for four years. And it was there that I started doing some research. Still did some total synthesis, synthesized compounds. But I did research on medicinal plants, natural products. And it was there that my research group, we were able to identify the chemical compounds in 20 or 30 different medicinal plants. And a few of them we took on to uh, commercial applications. So that's a little bit about me. Real quick, before we talk about the products in the PDR, a lot of you have probably seen this before, but real quick, I want to talk about why Unicity is different from the other companies out there. There are a lot of companies that make nutritional supplements. Why Unicity? Why is Unicity different? Reason number one, passion. This quote by Steve Jobs, if you're doing something exciting that you really care about. You don't have to be pushed. The vision pulls you. We are passionate about science here at Unicity. I have a team of passionate scientists. When I interview people for a position for my team, what I look for is I look for passion. I look for fire. I look for desire to use science to change the world. There's a quote that I like, a saying 
that goes something like this. You could tell what people care about, what they really care about deep down inside by what they think about in their spare time, right? When you don't have to think about anything else, what do you think about? If you answer that question honestly, that will tell you a lot about yourself, who you are, what your values are. For me, when I'm not at work and I don't need to think about anything, guess what I think about? Chemistry, science. And when I'm eating food, guess what I think about? Science. And when I'm in the shower, guess what I think about? Science. And before I go to bed, guess what I think about? And when I wake up in the morning, we love science. It's what we do. It's what, it's what I was born to do. I really feel that strongly. I feel that I was placed here to do science, and that's what I love to do. So passion. Two is tradition. We are a company that has been around in some form for over 100 years. We are not some fly-by-night company that was started a few years ago by a couple of business a couple of businessmen. We are a science-based company steeped in tradition. We stem from the original iconic American pharmaceutical company, Rexall, and one of the first companies to successfully encapsulate traditional medicine herbs and maintain their bioactivity. That, that company was Enrich. We're a combination of those two. So we are a science-based company. Uh, Mr. Stuart Hughes says a lot of times, he has a quote I like, he says, most companies in our space do a lot of marketing and a little bit of science. We do a lot of science and a little bit of marketing. We are a science-based company with tradition. Number three is experimentation. This is an important one. We do our own formulations. A lot of nutritional supplement companies go to a third-party contract manufacturer to get their supplements. The problem with that is if you get this nutritional supplement from a third-party manufacturer, right? I go to a contract manufacturer and I say, hey, I want to buy omega-3. Okay, so they give me 100 bottles of omega-3 and I start selling it. What's the problem with that? Do you think that that same company gives out that same supplement to other people? Don't you think? Yeah. These contract manufacturers will give out that same product to lots of other people. So if I'm going to someone and I'm saying, hey, you should buy this, well, you have it too, right? And you have it too. Here at Unicity, every formula is custom designed in our lab with the top quality ingredients in the industry. So you can be assured that you cannot find this formulation anywhere else in the world. That's the power of Unicity Science. Formulations that cannot be found anywhere else other than Unicity. Also, when you get a supplement from someone else, you don't know what the quality control that they're using. You don't know exactly what quality of ingredients they're using. Right? You don't know exactly what they're doing. We do our own formulation. So we use the top quality stuff. We know exactly what we're doing, what we're putting in there. And we do that to give you the best product on the planet. <laughs> Number four, formulation. All of our products are formulated and developed in our corporate labs in the United States, in Utah. So here's the United States, here's Utah, here's the West Coast with LA, New York, the East Coast. We're right here in the, in the Rocky Mountains, Utah, in our labs. But we're not content to use science that's already been around. One of the keys for Unicity is exploration. There is so much left to be discovered. I am a natural products chemist, that's what I do. It's estimated that there are 600,000 species of plants on the earth. And, that's, and that's, that's actually kind of a low estimate. 600,000 species of plants on the earth. Less 
then 5% of those plants have been analyzed for their bioactive compounds. Less than 5%. So you know what that means? That means we have a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. Each year, we spend time at Unicity going out into the field and discovering new things. We take plants that have never been studied before and we, we study them. We find out what compounds are in there. We run assays on them. We run animal studies. We figure out what these plants are used for. Actually, tomorrow morning I'm leaving on a plane, but I'm not going back home. I'm going to an island in the middle of the ocean to spend a few days to find plants to bring back to our lab to study them. That's what we do, exploration. And we do that, again, this is a common theme, we do that so we can give you products that aren't found anywhere else. You cannot get it anywhere else because it's ours. We discovered it. Innovation. 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 Key concept. Innovation. Companies thrive and survive because of innovation. Your best five years ago is not going to be good enough to survive today, right? You have to continually innovate. We, Unicity Science, we have been around for a long time, and we will continue to be around for a long time because we innovate. We stay a step ahead of our competitors, several steps ahead. We innovate. For example, we developed a fiber product long before the general public knew about the benefits of fiber. Long before the FDA recommended a daily serving for fiber, we already had this product out in the market. Long before people knew fiber could do anything with cholesterol and blood sugar, we had this product out there. Innovation. A few other quotes about innovation. Bob Iger, Walt Disney, says the heart and soul of the company is innovation. The heart and soul of Unicity is innovation. That's what we do. We innovate. We discover. We develop new things. I like this quote by George Bernard Shaw. He says, you see things and you say, why? But I dream things that never were. And I say, why not? These products that we give to you are products that we dreamed of that didn't exist. They didn't exist on the planet. We went into our lab, we formulated them, and we developed them. We said, why not? It makes sense to make a product using fiber that can lower blood sugar, that can lower cholesterol. Well, let's go make it. And so we did. Innovation. Validation. Okay. So it's, so it's PDR night, right? We're going to be talking a lot about the PDR. But the key is validation. Having a witness, having a, a professional source say that you are the best. Saying that your products are science-based, that they are legit, is a key point. And we'll talk more about that. Protection. There's a reason why. There's a reason why you can't find BIOS Life anywhere else on the planet besides here at Unicity. And this is the reason we hold patents on this product and several of our other products. We patent. We, we innovate. Well, let's put it this way. We discover, first step. We innovate, second step. And we patent, third step. And again, we do that so you can have products unique to you so that when you go out and recommend these to your family, your friends, your patients, you have a product that is unique. Vision. You got to be able to see the big picture. You got to be able to see what, what wave is coming. And you have to put yourself in position to catch that wave. That's what we do at Unicity Science. Professional surfers, 
do most of their work before they even step in the water. They stand on the, they stand on the beach and they look out at the horizon. They see where the waves are breaking and a professional surfer knows exactly where that wave will break, at what time it will break, and they go out there and they put themselves in position to catch that big wave. That's what we do at Unicity Science. We scan the scientific horizon. We know what big things are coming, like the microbiome, for instance, or cognition. And we are developing products to fit that need to catch that wave when it comes. And it's coming soon. Aspiration, number 10, final point here. We aspire to be the best. We are a science-based company. We live science, we eat science, we sleep science, and we will not be satisfied until we give products to you that will continue to change the world. That's what we aspire to. Every day we wake up and that's what we do. As I walk past each of my team members every morning, we have a saying that we say to each other. We look at each other and we say, are you ready to change the world today? Are you ready to change the world today? Yes. Every day, are you ready to change the world today? Because literally, we are working on formulations that can change the world. And so we need to have that mindset. We are doing something today that can change the world. Okay. So let's talk about unicity and the medical professional, the doctor. As I said, you take these two components and you put them together and you have an amazing opportunity. Doctors are on a mission. Who's, who here is a medical doctor? Medical doctors, raise your hand. Wow, look at that. I wish I had time for each of you to come up here and tell your story. But I bet that most of your stories include a desire to help people. It includes a desire to make life better for someone. That's your passion. That's why you are in the field. That's why you put in the long hours and you deal with things like insurance and liabilities and paperwork and staffing and all the things that you deal with. You do that because you want to help people. You want to change people's lives. We here at Unicity have that same passion. We design products that can change people's lives. And these are science-based products with clinical validation backing behind them. Okay. Quiz time. Quiz time, doctors. Let's put on our quiz hat. How many classes of chemical reactions does the body do every single second? Huh? Okay, some people have been listening. 10,000. There are 10,000 different classes of reaction your body does every single second. Reactions involving respiration, energy production, fatty acid synthesis, Krebs cycle. You remember the Krebs cycle? Glycolysis. We, you, you know, I mean, we, we could have a lot of fun here, couldn't we? We could just have a chat session, you know, with those organic structures, the mitomycins. I was going to ask someone to come up and draw the Newman projection of that, but, you know. Anyways, the body is so complex. 10,000 different classes of reactions going on every single second. The body needs fuel. It needs proper supplementation and nutrition. And here at Unicity, we develop products to help the body. The whole, the whole point of supplementation is to add to, to help out, to strengthen, to support. That's what our products do. They support and help to bring balance to the 10,000 classes of reactions your body does every single second. Okay, one other thing before we get started. 
And I, and I mentioned this when I was talking about contract manufacturing and, and, and different things. In the nutraceutical industry, and in any, any industry, ingredient quality is key. Ingredient quality is key. Because not all protein is the same. Not all protein is of the same quality, right? Protein is not just protein. Depends on the digestibility, the amino acid score, the solubility, the organoleptic properties. There's so many factors that go into it. All fiber is not just fiber. All omega-3 is not the same. There's good omega-3, high quality, and there's not so good omega-3. There's high quality protein with a good amino acid score. There's low quality protein. Saying they're the same is just like saying a car is a car. Right? That's just like saying this Porsche Panamera Turbo is the same as this. This was actually my car. This Hyundai Sonata I used to drive going to Caltech. Totally different, right? You can say, oh, they're just, they're cars. They're the same, right? No, totally different. Totally different. The ingredients we use in our Unicity products are the best in the industry. Okay, so let's talk about the physician's desk reference. This is one of the premier medical reference journals databases in the world. Doctors, raise your hand if you have a copy of this book in your practice. If you have a copy of this book, the PDR in your practice, raise your hand. What? Okay, well, a couple out here, good. This... I don't know, uh, you know, th this, this is a common reference that is in doctor's offices. It provides information on what, what compounds, what pharmaceutical drugs are out there that can help with a, different need, with a particular need state. The PDR talks about what the, what the product is, what the active components are, what are the side effects, what's the mode of action, how the recommended use, all those sorts of things. It's an, it's an encyclopedia for medical professionals. This is published by this organization, the Physician's Desk Reference, and it, it is the gold standard. In this book, you have thousands of pages, 2,000 pages or so. Go, th go through that book. Most of that book is dedicated to pharmaceutical companies. The big, the big players, you know, Amgen, Merck, Pfizer, GSK, Roche, Genentech, okay? They have their, comp their prescription drugs in there, okay? So 99% of the PDR is prescription drugs. But there's a small section in the back, small section in the back where... Certain nutraceutical companies who have been vetted by the PDR, and the PDR thinks that they are science-based, have their products in the back. Okay? So the PDR is the authoritative source for prescription drugs. It is very difficult to get listed in the PDR. To get listed in the PDR at the beginning, you have to submit a lot of data. They, want, they ask what papers you've published. They ask what your research budget is. They ask a lot of different things to get into the PDR. A lot of times, companies will submit an application to get into the PDR and they never hear back. It's very difficult to get into the PDR. We are in the PDR because we are a science-based company. We are a pharmaceutical grade company playing in the nutritional supplement space. Now you ask, why do we do that? Why, why if, we, if we do pharmaceutical grade science, why don't we just go through the pharmaceutical route? Well, there's a couple reasons for that. But one of the major reasons we do that is if we sold these products as pharmaceuticals, would you be able to have them? Would you be able to give them to your family and friends? Huh? No, right? You would have to go through a doctor. We 
at Unicity feel like everybody should have these products. So we open it up. We play in the nutritional supplement space so that everybody can have these products. So there, as I said, there's a small section where there are a few nutritional supplement, nutraceutical companies in the back. We have twice as many products in the PDR as our next closest competitor. We have more products in the PDR than any other nutraceutical company. Period. And the reason why there aren't more nutritional supplement companies in the PDR, I think I mentioned this yesterday, they're not in the PDR because they can't get in the PDR. They don't have the pedigree. They don't have the, the tradition, the science base to get in. Okay, now let's get to the fun part, right? We got, now we got all, that all out of the way. Let's talk science. We ready to talk science? Yeah. Let's talk about Biles Life C. In the PDR, it's called Biles Life Cardio. C stands for cardio, right? And we have the, this little cute shape that looks like a heart, right? Cardio. This product, Biles Life Cardio and Biles Life S, these products are our flagship products. These are the products that built Unicity. They put us on the map. These products change the world. They change the world. Okay? Let's talk about the science behind this, this product and the clinical studies here. So the key ingredients are shown here. We have fiber. Fiber is the workhorse for this product. So you take this product, you mix it up, you drink it 15 minutes before you eat. We have calcium carbonate in there. Calcium carbonate is a base. It reacts with the stomach acid, expands the fiber matrix in our stomach, giving the fiber more surface area so fiber can absorb glucose and it absorbs cholesterol. Like associates with like. Do you remember that from chemistry? Like associates with like. Chemicals with similar properties will associate with each other. The chemical structure of fiber, which is shown here, is very similar to the chemical structure of simple sugar. Simple sugars are just one of these here. So the structure is very similar. So the sugar associates with the fiber. Fiber holds onto it in the, in the stomach, takes it through the digestive tract. The sugar does not get into the bloodstream. Sugar is not into our bloodstream. We don't have... The, the glucose spike, okay? We have an attenuated, a moderated glucose response curve. It's not a sharp peak. It's mellowed out. We have polycosinol from sugarcane extract in here. Polycosinol inhibits the production of cholesterol in the body. One of the first steps to produce cholesterol in the body, our body naturally produces cholesterol, right, is HMG-CoA reductase. That's one of the first enzymes in the squalene hydroxylase pathway. Polycosinol inhibits HMG-CoA reductase. So we turn down the body's natural process of producing cholesterol. We don't turn it off, but we just dial it back a little bit. And when we dial it back a little bit, that helps to modulate cholesterol control. We have phytosterols in here. Phytosterols are very similar in chemical structure to cholesterol. So when we take a lot of phytosterols in our body, what happens is when the lipoproteins come to pick up cholesterol, it has a choice. It can pick up cholesterol or it can pick up phytosterols. Phytosterols are more hydrophobic than cholesterol. They're more hydrophobic, and so phytosterols prefer to go into the lipoproteins ahead of cholesterol. They move to the front of the queue. Phytosterols move to the front of the queue. Cholesterol's at the back, okay? Cholesterol's left in the stomach, and what does the stomach do? Flushes it out. So cholesterol passes through our digestive system, does not enter the bloodstream. Phytosterols enter the bloodstream, but that's okay because phytosterols are so hydrophobic that they don't form plaques, okay? Cholesterol can form plaques in the arteries, right? 
Phytosterols don't do that. They don't do that. No placking. Great compounds to help lower cholesterol levels in the body. Um, we have chrysanthemum morifolium. This um, ingredients in chrysanthemum help to upregulate bile acid production. So bile acid in the body is produced from cholesterol. Cholesterol is a starting material for bile acids, right? If we upregulate bile acid production just by a little bit, what does that do to the freestanding pool of cholesterol that can be incorporated into our bloodstream and plaque out? Lowers that pool. That, that concentration is lowered. So there's less cholesterol available for the body to throw into our bloodstream if we have extra and have it plaque out. Okay? So different mechanisms here. Fiber absorbs cholesterol. Polycosinol inhibits cholesterol production. Stigmasterol and phytosterols prevent cholesterol from getting into the bloodstream. Chrysanthemum keeps cholesterol concentrations, free cholesterol concentrations in the, in the body low. Okay? Then we have B vitamins in here in these BioSlife products. Increasing our metabolism. We want to increase metabolism. It's very important because these are metabolic health products after all. Um, a paper here showing what I just told you, that phytosterols help to lower cholesterol. It's a paper here with a uh, uh, clinical study here. Now, this, was, this has been known for a long time. 1977, okay, 1977. It's been around for a long time, but you know what? Who was the first nutraceutical company to, to ever use phytosterols? Unicity, okay? Phytosterols, last year in the nutraceutical industry, each year they rate the best up-and-coming nutritional ingredient. Phytosterols won that award last year. My science team and I were like, phytosterols? <laughs> that was so like 1977, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Innovation. Innovation. Paper here showing what I told you, that polycosinol helps to modulate HMG-CoA reductase activity in the cell. Okay. When we talk about validation, we at Unicity Science are not content to just say, oh, well, the scientific literature says that uh, phytosterols lower cholesterol, so we believe it. No. What do we do? We run clinical studies on every major product that we formulate and develop here at Unicity. We run clinical studies. One of them was shown here. And we collaborate with the top people in the world. Now, if you want to talk about metabolic health, the best people in the world to talk to are the people at the Cleveland Clinic. Their metabolic health unit is one of the best in the world. So we collaborated with the Cleveland Clinic, with Dennis Sprecher and Greg Pierce at the Cleveland Clinic. Uh, Dennis Sprecher, I just talked with him on the phone last week. He is actually the lead investigator now in the human nutrition unit at GSK, GlaxoSmithKline. Um, ran this study showing that Bios Life has the ability to lower LDL cholesterol. Here's a table that they show. This was a double-blind, placebo-controlled study. Okay, so we had our Bios Life product, and then we had another product, a placebo made. So it tasted the same, smelled the same, had the same organoleptic properties as Bios Life, but it didn't contain the fiber matrix and the vitamins. Okay, it had filler in there. Okay? Low dextrose equivalent, uh, low DE maltodextrin. Okay? And what we see here is after we screen, we randomize, we start the experiment right here. You see uh, LDL with the treatment group here with the squares, placebo. After we do this here, you see LDL drops. LDL drops. The, pl the placebo 
stays pretty much the same. LDL drops. Clinically validated. This is the um, tabulated data. So we see here the treatment group versus the placebo group. We start the experiment right here, okay? At, 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 the, at the end here, end of the blind phase, we go from total, uh, LDL cholesterol 159 to 145. Placebo group 158, eh, you know, actually raised a little bit, but statistically pretty much stayed the same. Total cholesterol, 238 to 227. Placebo, 247 to 246. Validated studies showing that this product lowers LDL cholesterol. It's the, it's the fiber matrix. This is a proprietary fiber matrix that we use. It's a patented fiber matrix that we use that cannot be found anywhere else in the world. This is a concluding paragraph of the Cleveland Clinic study where they say, um, and this was written by the, by the Cleveland Clinic authors, this was not written by the Unicity team, where they say some interesting things. They talk about long-term studies. We'll, we'll show you that we did those long-term studies, but such, uh, they say such a product, if taken regularly, could reduce cardiovascular risk on a population basis and potentially decrease the need and or dose for lipid lowering prescription drugs. Did you know that in the United States a large number of our distributors of our franchise partners are medical professionals or doctors? A large percentage are doctors. And you know that when someone comes in and they really should be on a statin drug, that some of these doctors will say, hey, you need to be on a statin drug. You, you need something to lower your cholesterol. The side effects of statin drugs, you doctors know, are long. Some of them are kind of scary. And so a lot of these doctors will say, well, you need to do something. You know, you say you've been exercising and trying to eat well, but, you know, that's not working. We need to do something to get this under control. So we can either put you on statin or we can give you this natural fiber-based product that has clinical studies behind it showing that it lowers cholesterol. What do you want to do? What do you think a lot of them say? I'll try this natural BIOS Life product. I'll give it a shot. And we, over the past 20 years, we have had tremendous success. I receive emails weekly from people saying, I used to take statin drugs, and I used to have all these side effects, and I started taking BIOS Life, and the doctor saw my cholesterol level improve, and so they took my statin dose from here to here. And I kept taking BIOS Life, and my cholesterol continued to improve, and so they took my statin dose from here to here. And then it continued to improve, and what do they do with my statin drug? Off of it. Off of a statin drug. Using this product. That is powerful. That resonates with people. Powerful. Okay, another clinical study here. So this was a follow-up study where we, where we proofed out our fiber concept from the Cleveland Clinic, and we said, well, what if we take this fiber matrix and we add those ingredients I told you? We add phytosterols, we add polycosinol to it. Let's see what happens to cholesterol levels when we do that. And so we ran this clinical study internally. This was published in uh, 2007. And what we see here, I, I hope you can see this here, so if we look here, we, we divided it out between the total number of participants versus those that have really high cholesterol, right? So if we look here, TC stands for total cholesterol. 25 people total, 16 had cholesterol levels above 200, which you know is not good. 200 and above is considered high cholesterol. 13 men, uh, 8 men, so 13 men, 12 women in this group here, average age, baseline total cholesterol 214 after taking it 
After taking this biocide for four weeks, goes down to 208. After taking it for eight weeks, goes down to 196, a change of 8%. If, if you see, though, in the high-risk group, above 200, though, okay, we start at 237 on average, we go to 224, change by 5%, we go to 211, we change by 11% after eight weeks. After eight weeks, we're down 11%. Okay, LDL cholesterol, you notice here, after eight weeks, you know, if, if, if your LDL is not too bad, we, you know, it drops by about 5%, but look at these high-risk groups. LDL above 130 or above 160 changes by 25 and 31% in eight weeks. LDL cholesterol is reduced by 25 or, or 31% in eight weeks. HDL. So let's, let's look at the HDL numbers here, okay? So... Uh, so we have the total group here, HDL starts here, 48 baseline, okay? After four weeks, it goes to 50, change of about 5%. After eight weeks, it goes to 52. It increases by 8%, okay? It, total, but, you, but those people that have less than 40, and you remember we want our HDL to be above 40, right? People who have HDL less than 40, you notice this change of percent is 12. It increases HDL by 12%. Okay? Triglycerides are lowered. Doctors, what is the, what is the benefit if you can pull out 10% of the cholesterol that's floating around in your LDL lipoproteins in eight weeks. What does that do to the metabolism of the body? What does that do? It transforms metabolic health is what it does. It brings the body back into balance. It brings those 10,000 classes of reactions that are done every single second back into homeostasis, back into balance. Powerful products. Okay. Conclusion here. Same things here. Showing that... One thing that was really interesting. Let's go back here. So if we go back to the results that we see here, and you compare those with, with results that are published for a statin drug, guess what? They're about the same. And the, and the bios life numbers are actually a little better than most statin drugs. Okay? So this peer-reviewed published paper shows that, stat, that, that bios life, this fiber matrix with phytosterols, polycosinol, chrysanthemum, and all the ingredients are a viable alternative to statins. Viable alternative to statins. And more and more, we are hearing in the news, and the AMA, the American Medical Association, comes out with amendments all the time on additional risks for taking statin drugs long term. Right now that people have been taking statin drugs for 15 years or so, we're starting to see what's happening. Some of the long term risks associated with it. No side effects with this product here. Besides the, well, besides the getting used to taking as much fiber as you should, right? You start taking this product, you need to drink a lot of water because your body is not used to the amount of fiber that you should be taking. We don't eat enough fiber in our diets. Okay, so we extended this. You know, as, as, as I travel the world, it, it's interesting, right, that, that a lot of times we say, oh, well, you know, that study, that was done in uh, Europe. But I'm an American. It works for Europeans, but it doesn't work for Americans, right? Or it works for, you know, it works for Americans, but it doesn't work for Thais. We're different, right? Or it works for Thais, but it doesn't work for Brazilians, right? We have done studies on our, on our BIOS Life product on every continent, 
on every continent. A study here that we did in collaboration with uh, the Angeles Medical Center in the Philippines. And it, this might be kind of hard to read, but basically what we, did, what we did is we have the age groups here, and then we have the cholesterol gradients here. Okay, we have um, black means good, blue means borderline, and gray means bad. Okay, so you look before taking our Bios Life product. Most of these age groups, their cholesterol was not that good. Okay, the gray bars are quite large. Look what happens after four weeks. After four weeks. Now remember, black is good. What do you see happening from here to here? Okay. The LDL, and this is a graph of LDL distribution. The LDL distribution dramatically shifts after just four weeks to now these gray bars are pretty much gone in these younger age groups. The older age groups, we still have, you know, still have some, uh, some work to do, but changed dramatically. And this is just after four weeks. Notice the other studies we've done have been eight, 12 weeks, four weeks here, okay? Another study done in Guam among the Chamorro people in, uh, in, in uh, Taumin, doctor's clinic in Taumin. Oh, what did I do? I pushed the wrong button. Aha, fix it. Okay, LDL cholesterol. So you notice here, baseline. Okay, Th those people above 130, the baseline was 168. After eight weeks, goes to 127, a change of 24.5%. Good p-value there. HDL cholesterol, baseline, goes from 32 to 37. Now, this is interesting. These, so, study number two was taking people who were taking statins already, but they still had trouble maintaining cholesterol control. Their lipid levels were still not where they needed to be, even with taking a large dose of statins. And so you notice baseline here, 150, taking statins, that number doesn't move. It stays at about 150, average for the people. Taking bios life for eight weeks goes down to 118, a change of 21%. Change of 21%. Adjunct therapy to statins or a replacement therapy. De depends on the individual situation. But regardless, a, clin a clinically validated way to lower cholesterol. We won't go through the other data, although it's really beautiful. Okay, let's talk about Bios Life S. In some markets, it's called Slim, and in the U.S. market, it's called Balance. Another amazing product. Same foundation as C, but what we've done is we've modified this fiber matrix a little bit. We've beefed up the fiber matrix so that it's a little better now at absorbing glucose. 